Scientists are saying they're close to developing an invisibility cloak. Great! We need more things to help people sneak up on one another. Hey everybody, I'm Patrick Jones and welcome to Buzz60. Invisibility cloaks worked out pretty good for Harry Potter, and Bilbo used the ring to hide from a dragon. Good thinking. Scientists at UC Berkeley successfully used their special little technique to make an object small enough that it needed to be looked at under a microscope disappear. They think they can take their technology and scale it up to hide bigger things. Now, of course, with any major advance, we need to think about whether we should do it. Think about if you were in a room invisibly, what you might learn. I don't like that guy, Patrick. I'm gonna go eat his lunch. No. Then again, some of it might be good. I have way too much soup. I was thinking of inviting Pat over to eat some. We're friends. I love soup. And then of course, there's the simple fact that an invention like this would put a lot of magicians out of work. Buzz 60, now you know, pass it on.